Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady and White. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a, a thread up unboxing. This is a five pound thread up unboxing um, of jewelry. It is the DIY jewelry box or rescue box. And this one is from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. If you haven't been here before, my name is Marilyn, my husband's name is Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on multiple platforms, and before we do that, we bring the items to you for first dibs. If you see something you're interested in, you simply send us an um, email to one shadyandy at gmail.com, and we will send you a PayPal invoice. We do our invoices on Fridays and ship Monday through Friday. Very, very simple. This box was $44, and I do believe um, we paid shipping. This was on January 6th. This is the only box that I have allowed myself to purchase during January as I am doing a, um, trying not to spend money in January, just one month is what I'm trying, and so far, I've stuck to it. Besides, I did buy something from Chris and D at the live. Um, so this is what we have. There's the jewelry. Hopefully, it's good. I'm just going to pull it out of the box. It is. There's the empty box. And there's the bag of jewelry. Let's see. Um... I haven't gotten one of these in a really long time. Um, so it came, I was kind of excited, so I wanted to open it for you guys. I'm not really seeing anything right off. Um, so let's just open it and jump to it. Just gonna push it out of the way. Um, I do um, put up a sold list um, by 2 o'clock on the following day. Uh, our videos are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, unless it's a holiday. Um, and let's see, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And we upload at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, first off, we have uh, the seed bead necklace. This is pretty. This is a little um, twisted, just like so. Pretty long. It's red and gold and pink seed beads. Um, well, the um, the gold um, beads are tubular but short. And then there's some pink ones up here that are also tubular and short. I don't see a name. There is a little bit of um, discoloration around um, on the lobster clasp. It is 28 inches. That's sweet. So let's say, let's just say $5 on that one. I'm gonna push the um, earrings over to the side. This one, it looks like we have a name. It's Lily. Pulitzer. Um, uh, it's missing. Oops. Let's put that back where it's supposed to be. Like so. There. It's missing a cabochon. Um, what a shame because that is nice. Um, maybe I'll put it over to the side to see if it's possibly in here. If it is, then we can fix it. Okay. These are nice. These are matching. Let's see if they have a name. They do not. Um, they are um, post earrings with no name, uh, big hoops, and they're gold tone with this raised flower vine, and then like um, a white um, dusting, I would say. Um, it is two and three eighths of an inch, but these are nice. I'm gonna say let's just do three dollars on those. Um, this looks like a whistle. Um, a dog whistle, I guess. There is some missing paint on this. Uh, let's see what the the chain is 
no clasp, I don't think. Let's see. No, no clasp at all. It is 30 inches and it's a just a little dog whistle. So I'm going to say like, let's just do $2 on that. There's some discoloration on it. Let's see if there's anything missing. I don't see anything missing. Is that a piece of glass? <laughs> um, I'm trying to look close. And um, there is some discoloration right up here. Um, but that is a pretty piece. I, is that... It is, with the extension, it is only 17 inches. So on this one, I'm going to say, let me look at something right here under the loop. I keep feeling something that's catching my hand. You know what? This rhinestone, glass rhinestone, is cracked just on the tip. So I'm just going to say um, $3 on that piece. All right, this has some missing earrings, but there is a lot of pieces here. Um, it doesn't say who the name is, but it was on sale for $7.97. So I'm just going to say $2 on um, the earring card with some missing. And it's full tilt. This one is Opia. Um, and it's different sized um, pierced earrings. And there is three sets um, and one, two, three missing. Um, so, but there's one, two, three here. So I'm just going to say uh, $2. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and turn on our... Presidium in case we need it. Okay, this is just acrylic, but it's pretty colors. And then there's these discs. So on this one, I'm going to say just $2. We have another J. Crew. Earring. Let's see. This is pretty. Let's see if there's anything missing. Well, isn't that pretty? Um, it's like acrylic little um, faceted beads that make up um, the flowers and then like a faux opal in the center. It is a J. Crew um, with the preserve clasp. This is put all the way to the end and it is 20 inches. So let's say $10 on the J. Crew. Isn't that one pretty? I like this chain too, it's very unusual. So $10 on that one. We have another J. Crew. All right, let's see. That one's pretty. Um, I don't see anything missing on this one either. So that's very nice. It is a really nice chain. It has the um, preserve clasp also. And this one, all, all the way extended out, is 19 inches. I'm going to say $10 on that one. Let's see. It looks like we have a Torque. Uh, let's see if it has a name. Uh, I do not see. It still has the price tag that somebody didn't get completely off. It says, Made in India. That is nice. 
So on this one, I'm sure, you know, it just clasp around the neck. So it needs to be wiped down, but I'm just gonna say, let's do, I like the design on this. So let's just do $5 on that one. There we go, H&M, um, little tiny little earrings. It was $7.99, um, but one, two, three are missing. So you have one, two, three, four, five. So let's just say a dollar for those. Here we just have some pink flower earrings, but they are missing um, some of the paint. So that's just gonna go in craft for a dollar. Uh, more on the card. And this one has um, one, two, three, four sets, one missing. Um, and they're nickel-free cubic zirconia by metal. And I'm just gonna say $3 for those. All right, here we have some uh, fashion peace signs in a giraffe, maybe, or a cheetah. Um, they're just uh, kind of real thin wood on the back, and this one is lifting up, so I'm just going to say a dollar on those, but they're cool. <laughs> Here we have a cuff. It's obviously brass tone and silver tone. It does have some missing on the inside. Um, it has elephants here, but unfortunately it's dent, dented right here. So I'm just gonna say a dollar on that one, but that one is really cool, but it is dented. And I'm just gonna pull out the pieces that are not um, too, um, Tangled, that way we can get through this quickly. Uh, unbelievable, the last time I did a box, we were able to do it all in one video, and it wasn't extremely long either. So this one looks like it has, um, is really, let me see if they're all there. All right, there we go. Hmm. It looks like this one's hanging here. So there might have been one supposed to be hanging here that is missing. Um, it's pretty. I would personally take this off and then it wouldn't look out of like it is even missing anything. Um, they are all faux. Um, but I'm just going to say $2 on that because if you take that off, that is still very pretty. So $2. This one is a J. Crew also. Let's see if there's anything missing that I see right off. There is, right here, there is a blue um, rhinestone missing. Isn't that cool? Um, that one is a really cool one. I love the colors on this one. Um, but we're just going to do um, $4 since there is a rhinestone missing right there. Not that you really notice it too much. However, you could um, easily get a blue rhinestone. Wow, this is freezing cold. All right, let's test this and see what these are. Um, these could be um, dyed jade. Jadeite or, uh, oh, I didn't test this one. Or Jasper Agate, um, but I love this. It'll fit any size. Like so. Isn't that pretty? Like there. So it's pretty, I'm seven and a half and it fits me with no problem. So let's say $6.00 on um, the um, wire bracelet with gemstones. Here's one of those long cuffs. Um, it does have some sticky stuff on it, lots of scratches. So I'm just gonna say a dollar for the long cuff. 
Orse, I've never heard of this company. Um, the um, price tag was taken off, but it does have um, three pairs of earrings and they're all here and they're beaded and we have beads and then we have beads and a feather and then beads and tassels. So I'm just gonna say $3 on those. Nice and pretty colors. Let's see, we have To My Daughter, Love Mom. It says, sometimes it's hard to find words to tell you how much you mean to me. If you had to choose between loving you and breathing, I would use my last breath to say I love you. I will always be there to love you and I will always be there to support you. You will always be my baby girl. And it's just a little inexpensive um, chain that has fuzz in it and um, a lobster class with more fuzz. <laughs> it is 24 inches and I am just gonna say $2, sweet. Let's see, we have a seed bead necklace. We got a bonus hair. Um, it has a lobster clasp. It is black and gray and purple. It is 16 inches and I'm just gonna say um, $4, but that's very pretty. Is it this pretty? Let's see, we are Looks like we're missing two strands here. That's a shame. Um, no name. Oh, it did have a name. It was Banana Republic, or it still is Banana Republic. <laughs> and it has, let's see. Maybe it goes like this. Anyway, it's um, just clear, and then the blue beads. It's not um, glass, but they're interesting. They're like clay beads, possibly. Um, I wouldn't say they're black. They're not uh, glass. They're not cold to the touch, um, but it is missing two strands. So I'm just gonna say uh, $2 for that one. Again, we have things missing. This one is a J. Crew. Ah, oh, what a shame, because this is sweet. But it is missing two of the mirrored beads, like so. Um, that one is so nice. But I'm just, gonna, since it is missing some, and you can take these two out and have the rest of them, they're very easy. You just uh, take off the rings and put them back together. So I'm gonna say $5 on that. And that's how you can do almost any of the J. Crew. Let's see, this one has a little bit of hair. Um, I think we are missing a clasp, yes. Um, or are we? Yeah, we're missing a clasp. But look how pretty this is. But it does have some missing areas that are missing some of the rhinestones. So I'm just going to say $2 on that one. This is just a leather, it looks like. And seed bead. It is like so. And it's about a 7 inch. So I'm just going to say, that's pretty cool. Nice leather. Um, let's do $5 on that one. I don't see a name on this one, but it is nice. These are real pearls, definitely. Um, it is 16 inches. So I'm just going to say... Uh, these are gorgeous. I'm going to say $15 on this one. Nice. Um, oh, we've had one of these. 
it's one of these that turn and it has a saying on it. There's some discoloration right here. This one says, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for every forever. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to do, since there is a little discoloration right here, I'm just going to do $2 on that one. And it is about a seven and three fourths of an inch. Then we have this one that's magnetic. And this one is good works make a difference. And we've had this has a lot of um, peeling right here. So I'm just going to say a dollar on that one. And it's magnetic. Uh, yeah, magnetic like that. So just a dollar. In here, we just have two expandable bracelets, and um, this one was three dollars. So let's just say a dollar on each. This one has a shepherd's hook. It has a name. It says Japan. Okay, so just a little vintage faux pearl necklace. Let's get it untangled here. Or try to. It goes like this. With the extension, it's going to be um, 15 inches. So I'm just going to say, I mean, it's pretty, but they are faux. I'm going to say, let's just do... $3. I think these are cuff earrings. So just a dollar. Okay, this is an Alex and Ani, and it's a um, ladybug. That's sweet. And it says, let me see if it has a year. It does not have a year on this one. Um, but it's in silver tone. It's in good condition. So I'm going to say right now it is set at about a seven and three fourths. So I'm going to, and it is expandable or rather adjustable. And I'm going to say $5 on the ladybug. All right. This one does have some discoloration on it. And it's a heart, but that is a cool heart. And this one also does not have any um, name, but it has three rhinestones there. Um, it doesn't say anything about being um, sterling. But anyway, I'm going to do $5 on that one also. And here we have another one, Alex and Ani. And it is a beaded one. Um, really nice. So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say $6 on that one. Okay, there's slight discoloration on here, so I know it's not sterling. But these are really nice black beads. There is some scratching up here on this one. It goes, it is long. Let's get you a measurement on this. It is a toggle class. It is fifty-eight inches of black beads. Like so. And they are stiff to turn. There is no um, tying in between them, um, but they do wipe down. So I'm going to say, let's just do $8 for those. Here is another J. Crew. Let's see if there's anything missing on this one. A pretty color let's see if this will come yeah that will clean off right there um isn't that pretty 
um, it's like a mint green um, with a um, bronzed chain with an extension. If using the extension all the way out, it is 20 inches. So I'm going to say, and all these uh, little marks come off. I'll clean that. So this, I'm going to say $10. That's nice. That's my word of the day. It's nice. <laughs> I get stuck on a word. This says, love you more. It is a toggle clasp. Um... Just like, oh, here's another one. What does this say? This one's just blank. And it goes like so. There's the back of it. There's the front of it. Love you more. Nice chain. It is 18 inches. And I'm going to say um, $10 on that one. All right, this says signature. Um, in YC, it was originally $8.99, um, and it has um, dyed shell, and I'm going to say just $2 on this. It's a pretty color, so $2 on that one. Um, this one's just a triangle and a smaller triangle. It is a cuff. Right now it is set at about seven inches. So I'm just going to say um, $2 on that one. We have this sweet little choker. Um, it's a star. It's in lavender. Has no name. Um, it's like leather. Uh, is it leather? No, it's just braided. Gold tone. It is 14 inches, um, but it is really sweet. So I'm going to say just $3. Uh, this one. Is it a Kate Spade? I don't see a name on it, just a spade. Has some discoloration, um, even on the chain. It is a size seven inch. So since it has discoloration, I'm just gonna say two dollars. We have, isn't that pretty this is 1 20th 12 karat gold so this is older check out that chain it says 925 But that cameo is gorgeous. Look at that. Definitely older. Look at the flowers. If you turn it, I mean, the cameo is gorgeous. And it's, I can already see through it. So it's shell. And it's gold filled. Gorgeous. So... And this chain, check that out. Um, apologize for my fingernails. I need to redo them. They are a mess. <laughs> All right, this chain is 24 inches. The cameo is one and a half inch by one inch. And I'm going to say... That is so beautiful. With the chain and the cameo, there's the face. Just sweet. I'm going to say let's do 
I believe this is a Victorian cameo. So let's do $55 with chain. Okay, this we have a leather chain. It is the Tree of Life, like so. And on this one, the chain is the leather strap or whatever you, has a lobster clasp, 22 inches. So I'm just gonna say uh, $3. Ah, this came out of here. Like so, and in there. Isn't that pretty? Um, so this is um, piping and then beads, faux pearls, and a little beaded necklace, rhinestone. Um, I'll include, I'll put it all together um, and put some jewelry glue on it for you if you're interested. It is 18 inches with a two and a half extension. So I'm just gonna say $5 for the um, purple cameo and beaded necklace. We have just a little ring. Um, I don't see any marks on it. Like so, it's pretty, but it's fashion. And it is a size seven and a quarter. So I'm just gonna say $5 if anybody's interested. It's a shepherd's hook. And it's lots of leather straps with these beads on it. And they're all tangled, just gotta pull them through to make them untangled. It is lots of, um, look at all that. And let's see if there's any name on it. There is not, but there is two hooks, so like so, and it has beads in it, and it's an interesting piece. It is 24 inches, but I love all the super soft leather. So I'm gonna say $8 on the leather beaded bracelet, uh, necklace. This still has a tag. And it says heavenly stone. Um, and the price is marked out. I can't tell what it says. I think $9. Let's see if this is a stone. It is. Let's try the green one. No, just the middle stone. So I'm just gonna say $5 on the braided um, stone necklace. And it is 17 inches. Here we have this. It is a necklace. It's from um, Cracker Barrel. It says it was originally $14.99. It's a sweetheart with earrings that are also hearts. This is a new on card. And it is uh, 19 inches with about a two inch extension. So I'm just gonna say, let's do $4 for that. We have this piece, which says Serafina. And it is this really pretty quartz. And then this, it looks like glass. Um, let's see. Yeah, it's glass. It, um, a long chain is no clasp, is 30 inches. So I'm gonna say, let's do 10 for the quartz and glass. And then this is just our bits and pieces. Here is the piece on the Lily Pulitzer um, piece. So I will fix that one. And let's scoot that over to the side. So I'll glue that back on. And this is Twenty inches, so I'm gonna do ten dollars on the Lily Pulitzer piece. These, let's see if they have a name. 
No, but they're like Bali style, and these are really cold. Let's see if they're glass. These are pretty. Um, so they go up to the jade eye line. So on these, I'm gonna say let's do um, let's do ten on these. These are really pretty. Then we have these. So it has a bird. And then leather, I'm just going to say um, $3 on those. Here is a evil eye and a star. It is an anklet and it is about nine and a half inches. So on this one, I'm going to say let's just do um, three dollars on that one. We've got these, um, leather, um, just glitter. I'm going to say a dollar on those. These are matching. And I'm going to say two dollars on those. These are matching. I'm going to say just a dollar on those. These are matching. I'm going to say two dollars on those. These, two dollars. These are cool. Two dollars on those. This is 925. And um, I think like an opal, that's a Hansa with the bar hanging down. It's a Y um, necklace. It is 18 inches to the Hansa and then four inch to the end of the bar. So I'm gonna say $12 on that one. These I'm just gonna say a dollar. Just a chain with no name. On um, this, it is 16 inches with a two inch extension. So just a dollar. These say 14 carats, so I'm gonna test these. Okay, here we are back again. I literally believe I've stopped this probably about 15 times today. Lots of interruptions. Um, this looks like possibly a ram sign. But it says stainless steel on the um, tag, and it is 16 inches. So I'm just going to say a dollar for that one. Then we've got this ohm sign on a beat ball um, necklace, and it has discoloration. And then it has like a copper coin. And I'm just going to say, let's do, um, I don't know, $3 for the ohm. Because the ohm part is cool. And then we have some little pieces. Um, these are just um, not signed, uh, but little gold tone uh, earrings. So I'm just going to say um, $2 on those. This one has a tag that says 14K um, Italy. And this one, I thought I saw this one. Uh, let me test these. Um, there is not any bits and pieces really in this, um, just this little bit right here, so nothing. And these say 14 karat gold. So I'm going to test these. And also I wanted to test that one um, sterling silver necklace that we had right here. That was on the 14 karat gold or 12 karat gold um, cameo. So we're going to test this and these real quick. 
Okay, so we've got 14, we've got 18. So let's just see this one real quick, because this one, I, let me see if it says anything. It does not. So I'm just gonna do this one. It's a cute little chain, but it is only um, 12 inches with a two inch extension. So I'm just gonna say $3 for this chain. And then um, I'm gonna test this chain because it says um, Sterling 925. So let's test this one really quick. So there's that. Let's test the chain part too. That's 14, we don't want that. We want the 18 carat. And there's our blue on both of those. And of course, I don't have, oh, let's just use this. Okay, so that is um, Sterling. So, okay. So, um, I'm good with what we said for this one. I, I love the flowers and leaves on that. That is such a cool frame on that. I love, that is a, probably a Victorian piece. Such a nice piece, such detail. Okay, on to the two pieces that say 14 karat. So, we're going to test the heart earrings. I mean, they are soft. So let me just test a couple of things on this. Let's see if this part is marked. It says 14K and then a space and then RL. That's the post and here is the back. Okay, so there's all pieces on that. And this one, let's test this one. Okay, these all say 14. So these are both marked 14, so let's use the 14K. And these little pieces, I'm actually not even going to put in a bits and pieces mark. I'm just going to hold these for the next time that we do have a bits and pieces and put them in there. And I will check these two pairs of earrings to be sure that they didn't match any of those cards. So it is not disappearing. So they all are 14 karat gold. So that's cool. Always happy whenever we can get 14 karat gold. So we just have a chain and a pair of earrings. So we'll weigh those and get a price on them. These are just a point. Four grams. And this one is... 5.3 grams. Okay, so on the Rolo 14 karat gold, white gold with a lobster clasp, it is um, 22 inches. And on this one, I'm going to do um, $200 on the white gold 
Rolo Jane. And on the little, I, I don't know if they're Ralph Lauren, they are marked RL, 14 karat, and they are tiny, a very, very petite, and um, they're light because they only weigh point, um, 0.4 of a gram, okay? So on these, I am just going to do um, $20. And then we just have these bits and pieces, and I'm like I said, I'm not even going to offer those. And that's it. Isn't that pretty cool? So what a really good box. Not only did we have a lot of J. Crew, we had the uh, Lily Pulitzer, um, we had some gemstones, um, a really old um, cameo, uh, sterling necklace, 14 karat gold, and 14 karat gold Rolo. Um, necklace. So very, very happy with this box. Thank you, ThreadUp. Thank you all very much for watching. And please leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite piece was. And thank you for spending a little bit of your day with us. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.